Historical Knox County building has been in disrepair for some time. Take a look. You can see broken glass and destroyed walls inside, but now its care could be in new hands. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan is live in Knox County tonight. He talked with county leaders and a person looking to buy the property. Gary joins us now with more on what it may take to get the property up and running. Knox County commissioners are currently working to get a $500,000 grant. The goal is to make repairs to the Knox County poor farm. However, today I spoke with an investor who said if given the chance, he could make those repairs right now. The Knox County poor farm has been standing since the late 1800s. County officials hope grant funding can make significant improvements. We don't do this, nothing's going to happen to it. You know, if the commissioners don't take this on and make this happen, no one else can as long as the commissioners have control of it. One investor seems to disagree. Adam Kimmel is a historical preservationist from Pennsylvania. Recently, Kimmel posted a video on social media addressing the building. Speaking directly to the residents of Vincent, Indiana and the surrounding areas. For the last six months, I have been negotiating with your commissioners on a historic icon. Today, I spoke with Kimmel via Skype. He says he has big plans for the poor farm. Basically, the, the, the best way to look at it is a living museum. Turn into a time capsule and capture the turn of the century and allow people to experience that. Kimmel says he has been working with the county for months. His plan is to invest his money to make the needed repairs. What I'm telling them is, you give me, you give me this today, and I'm, we're in there with a the group, we're working on it. However, Hinkle says it is important for the county to fix the facility first. To me, once we get the, the building cleaned up and, and fixed on the outside, um, then we can really start trying to sell it or shop it out. Hinkle says they've already had a number of other interested parties in the facility. Live in Knox County, Gary Bryan, News 10.